what a time to be alive all right let's go ahead and talk about it because this full moon is reading some of y'all for the filth in a good way hey everyone welcome back to my channel i'm jessica alexandria bahati life thank you so much for tuning in if you see me holding my mouth weird it is because i just ate the most delicious red beans and rice dish here in new orleans at my opinion one of my favorite red beans and rice places to get red beans and rice <laughs> And on top of that, I had some chocolate covered cherries, which I got from Marshall's. And then I realized, you know what? I am an adult. I think that you become an adult when you start liking chocolate wrapped in fruit or fruit covered chocolate. Wait, chocolate covered fruit. Like there's something about it that I'm like, wow, look at me. Hmm. The other random thought that I had while I was walking through the quarter was I wonder if my tribe is superstitious. Do you guys walk under ladders or do you feel uncomfortable and you walk around them? Or are you not superstitious but you don't, don't wanna mess with it so you just don't you know mess with bad luck or anything like that? So those were some random thoughts that I was having. I don't know about you, but that's what I was thinking. That's what my head was at. I know you guys didn't come here to listen to me ramble about that. We're gonna talk about the Aquarius full moon. So let's go ahead and dive into those details. I have the chart pulled up. I have my cards pulled out. They are reading us for the filth in so many ways. And of course, me, a Virgo, I'm gonna give it to you good. Full details, full disclosure, not gonna hold anything back. And then we're gonna talk about intentions. The things that I'm thinking and seeing that we should set our intentions for, for this full moon. But of course, obviously, follow your vibes. Follow your heart and work your magic according to where you feel that you're being called to. I cannot ignore the fact that the sun, the beautiful sun, is moving to the sign of Leo, of course, because that's the opposite of Aquarius, and is conjoining with Venus, the planet of love, beauty, attraction, aesthetic, money, romance. And what I love about this is that the sun is the center of our universe, and the sun is connected to our hearts. And that is where energy and life radiates from. It just takes that energy, that life force energy, that vitality, and pushes it throughout your entire body. And that's what we're seeing within this chart. I'm seeing a focus, interestingly enough, I'm seeing a focus concentrating on the heart. And when the sun meets up with Venus, this planet of beauty and love and attraction and good vibes, those two planets work together. They both give their energy, they both lend their energy to us, to you, to me, right here, right now. I'm watching the chart and I'm watching us kind of unfold our wings and decide to choose freedom for ourselves. For so many of us, we've been in a space where we've almost been cocooned or cocooning ourselves. That's something that I've been talking to my friends about when we're sitting around and discussing and they're just like, Jess, where have you been? Honestly, I've been like a cocoon. I've just been reading books and downloading messages for myself and recharging my energy and honestly, ordering food and having it delivered as I revi revitalize and getting up and then cooking every once in a while, but a lot of ordering out because there's a lot of good places to eat here in New Orleans. Obviously that red beans and rice dish was fire, but there's something about that that is so a departure from my norm. I'm very much a fast paced, fast oriented, thinking about what's next, doing what's next, and something about me not being vegetative, but me being in my zone, in my space, and me having distance and space from everyone else and everything else is everything that I needed in order to pick up the pieces and to get myself together and to plan the next stage, the next phase of my life, and to stay open to that. And that's what it is that I'm seeing for so many of you guys, is that the energy of 2018 and the energy of 2019 is still very much here. Obviously, we're in the middle of 2019 at the time of me filming this, it's August. So we're almost towards the end, but we're right in the middle of it. So 2019 isn't over, but I still feel like we are closing up chapters or closing up books of chapters that, or books that we have written and things things that we've experienced from 2018. And even though that book is closed and we try to push it away, we're still thinking about it. It's like if you get your hands on a really good novel and the words of the author and the story is not something that just leaves you overnight. It's something that you sit with if that book is written well. And that's something that so many of you guys are experiencing. I know that you're ready for the next best thing. I know you're ready for fresh energy. I know you're ready to feel revitalized and restored. And those are things that are coming to 
you, especially at the time of this Aquarius full moon. But I'm still seeing and I have seen that there are some things that we need to close and say goodbye to. That is what this full moon in Aquarius is working to give to you. It's a chance to digest that story. It's a chance to appreciate the story and the journey that it has brought you to and the story that you can now tell your friends, your family, your children, or whoever. It's a part of your legacy and that's very, very special. But it's time not to say goodbye to it in a way that brings total sadness, but in a way that allows you to have more freedom. And all this freedom is because your heart is pulling you to higher and greater. For many of you guys, it's the end of an era in your life. Maybe you're going through your solar return, maybe it's a Jupiter return, or maybe it's it's gotta be something. Maybe it's your own, I don't know, just life, life, fill in the blank. Something has happened here where you're releasing the old and you're stepping into this new you. And are you even the same person anymore when at one point you were maybe asking yourself, I know I was, how can I ever return back to the old Jess? Will I ever be me again? In some ways, the answer is no. You've been changed so profoundly, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because what you're going to do and what you are doing is taking the old experiences that have been given to you from these experiences and these stories and this journey that you've been undertaking or that you've been going on, you're gonna take those experiences and you're gonna apply them to the next phase, the next stage, the next you, the next version of you, the highest and greatest version of you. So that's what I'm seeing is this space of freedom and this space, this energy of giving yourself space to be flexible, to be open to what the universe has for you and what you want for yourself. I'm seeing for so many of you guys, you're breaking free from your own conforming thoughts. This is this way that you perceived yourself or you thought that your life should be or would be. It's these rules, these regulations, or maybe these restrictions that you've had on yourself for a long time. Why am I saying this? Well, because I kept seeing the devil card, not only for my clients and my friends, but when I was doing these group pools, collective readings for the for the for all of us and posting them on my Twitter and posting them on my Instagram, the devil kept showing up. And that showed me how strong these bonds were. This is not just a commitment. And for some of you guys it was a commitment, but it's not just, you know, this, you know, devilish commitment or this devilish like I sold my soul to the devil type of, you know, shenanigans. It's about these holds on us that could come from generations or can come from our family, can come from our circumstances or our memories or our habits, our lifestyles, our addictions. Those things have had a help, had a, had a strong hold on us and it was so hard to break free from it. Well, with the Aquarius full moon, this is something that I'm seeing. Not only have you broken free from this, but you actually feel the freedom of it. I think that for so many of you guys, you've been working on this attention to detail to free yourself from it. You may have received signs and signals that you're free from it, but for whatever reason, your feeling within your heart, your feeling within your spirit, doesn't match what has actually been going on around you and what the universe has been trying to tell you and what your guides are trying to tell you and your ancestors is, you know what, Christina, you know what, Joanne, you know what, George, you are actually free from this. But as you're hearing that, as you're seeing that, you're questioning it. Am I really? Because it doesn't feel like I am. I actually feel really heavy. I feel really, really beat up. I think, and what I'm seeing within the chart is that with the Aquarius full moon, this is going to be that feeling of total freedom. This is gonna be that feeling of, okay, this is the burden finally has been lifting off of my shoulders. Not only is it confirmation in the signs and the, and the signals and what's been going on around me, with these repeating numbers and these repeating signs and the same cards that I've been pulling showing me that, okay, this is where I'm at right now. Not only is it just that, it's going to be a feeling that you feel that you know deep within your heart and soul and spirit, I am now free. I am now, I've finally broken free from those bonds. I can now stretch my wings. I now have this space and the time and the capacity to get myself out of this environment and actually feel the light 
the light energy of it and to enjoy it instead of to convince myself almost or tell myself okay I'm free now but then at the same time your mind is doubting it your mental mind is doubting it, your emotional self is doubting it and it, the reason why you've been experiencing that doubt is because for so long you have been under the restriction and the binds of the devil card making you feel like you're less than what you actually have been all along within these last few months. The cards that I pulled are the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Moon. Now with this, the words that came through when I saw this is total departure. And I'm seeing this as a total departure from the norm. It's you deviating and you taking out, striking out on your own path, on your own way. Now as I'm saying this, I feel like spirit has cautioned me to caution you to tell you that anywhere that you break free, any way that you step out and do things on your own or you rebel or you resist, there is a reward and there is a punishment. So what you wanna do is you wanna kind of weigh the pros and cons. For many of you, this means that you are deviating a total departure from your norm, you're deviating from your family, you're deviating from your friends or certain lifestyles. This means that for some, your lifestyle or your normal is going to be challenged. So that being said, you might feel a little nervous you might feel a little unsure. You might have to do it alone and independent. I'm seeing a lot of cards here talking about branching out and doing it on your own and your own independence. So that is quote unquote your punishment. But sometimes the punishment doesn't even match the reward. The reward is so great. If you step out on your own, the benefit of that and moving on your own accord with your own free will, with your own intention, is everything that is that you need and everything that is that you've needed in order or to feel good and to feel like you're moving with a purpose again and feeling like you're moving with power and intention again. So that's a very good thing. For others, you have to examine that there are certain relationships that cannot come with you in the future and you have to see it for what it is. And that's something that I'm seeing here with this moon card is you wanna make sure that you're connecting with yourself intuitively. The moon card and the full moon, they heighten a lot of emotions. And with Aquarius energy, which, because this is the full moon in Aquarius, this can be a little reactive where it can almost create like a splitation. And with Uranus ruling Aquarius and Uranus now retrograde in the sign of Taurus, this is like throwing a bomb into the earth and being like, boom, I'm out. It can be very explosive. It can be very reactive. It can totally take down predictable things and patterns and relationships and lifestyles that you have built up or that have been building up and accumulating over time. So you have to make sure that you kind of pulling the pin on that grenade and throwing it in there is something that you actually want to blow up. <laughs> That's very Aquarius of people. There's nothing wrong with shaking things up a little bit, but with everything I do have to say as a Virgo, as an earth sign, and as an intuitive, that is a message of warning, quote unquote warning. The universe and angels are coming, coming to me and saying like, let them know that if they're going to do this, that this is going to come with that territory. We are not gonna sugarcoat anything and pretend like if you go down this path that it's gonna be the most amazing, miraculous thing ever. Parts of it will be, but there's some parts of it that might be a little bit of a struggle, but again, if the reward is greater than the punishment, then do it. That being said, and you guys know I say this all the time, after I've said all of that, all of that, what you will learn and gain from your freedom and the feeling of freedom is going to be priceless. It's gonna be priceless, it's gonna be like a little chunk of gold. There are people all over the world that are fighting for their freedom right now as we speak. And at this full moon, that is where your focus is, that is where your energy is, is maintaining your freedom and protecting your freedom and maybe even sharing that focus on others and making sure that they have freedom as well. Now, some of you guys are gonna like this message. It is what it is, but I'm seeing six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Sun. Now the Sun brings light. The Sun at the time of the full moon is sitting in the sign of Leo. Leo connects to the heart. And with this, this Six of Pentacles card, there's this message that I'm getting with these cards that makes me feel like it's not always about being right and it's not always about disagreeing with someone. It's almost like I'm getting this energy of, I, I don't expect myself to agree with everybody. I don't expect us all to be on the same wavelength. I don't expect us all to wanna do the same things. I don't expect us to understand each other all the time. But 
that's a part of the pros and the the pros and the cons and that's what it is that I'm seeing out seeing here is when it comes to your heart you have to decide who is it important to you who do you need to I don't want to say reach out to and say I'm sorry but it's not about your ego the sun connects the ego. The sun is moving to the sign of Leo, which is all about the ego. It's not about the ego. It's about, I don't wanna say maintaining that bond, but it's about doing what's right. And when you do what's right, not being conflicted by it. Everyone, this message is gonna be different because for some of you guys, you're like, okay, well, what's right for me? What by when, when Jess, Jess, when you say do what's right, I know that that means that I need to step out on my own and focus on myself and that is my independent. That is what is right. For some of you, it's about being bigger than yourselves and stepping into this higher calling because that is the heart. That is the divine. I don't want to glorify anybody or glorify anything, but there is this message that I've been receiving with these cards and as I'm filming this now that it's like you have to step into like this like what would Jesus do type of moment like what would love do what would God do what would the divine do do that it's like this higher calling this is not someone who's operating from the ego this is someone who's operating from the heart this is a total de departure from my normal if I need to be a compassionate human being then that is who I need to be not only for humanity but for my family not only for my family but for humanity not for the people that I know but for the world not just for the world but for my intimates do you know what I mean so that's something that is that I'm seeing here the other thing is that this full moon is going to call a lot of you guys into stepping into your divine purpose your reason your light your reason for being here on earth when it comes to your work you are going to give a little here but give a whole lot more to where your heart and your soul and your spirit has been calling you to do. It doesn't mean that you have to totally remove yourself from your root chakra job, meaning like the job that pays your bills and pays your utilities and keeps the lights on. It just means that you give them a little less and give yourself a little more when it comes to giving yourself an opportunity and a chance to give yourself a chance to do what it is that you want to do. At the time of this full moon, and I know that Aquarius doesn't like this type of energy and Aquarius rules this full moon and that's the energy that it is that we're bringing in, but with the King of Pentacles here and with the Sun and with the Six of Pentacles, this is pretty much about an assessment of sorts where you are figuring out what you want to do next, what that vision looks like, and it's almost like a plan. But if you're an air sign or if you're a fire sign, I don't want you guys to get disappointed or defeated with that because so much of you is gonna fly off anyways and do whatever it is that you're gonna do. And as an earth sign, I just, you know, I support you in that. Of course, always and forever. All of us earth signs are like that. We just kind of step back and let y'all do your thing and we're gonna do our thing anyways regardless. So you do you boo and I'ma do me. But when it comes to the future, I'm seeing so much of an assessment, an evaluation that comes from your heart that says, you know what, I'm gonna give this a chance, I'm gonna give this a shot, fuck my fears, I'm not gonna stay in the space of resistance anymore. I'm gonna do things a little differently because it serves the greater good. And again, this is a total departure from my normal. So if you're really big on serving everyone else, it's almost like a, you're coming in and giving to those that are closest to you. If you're really big on giving to those that are closest to you, then it's almost like you're somehow connected to the greater good, to humanity. The other thing that I'm seeing is if you had your focus on one job or one thing and your focus starts to move over here to the uh, giving yourself a chance somewhere else so it's like an assessment of sorts when it comes to your heart where is it that I want to give my light and my energy to because I'm going to give it all and it's gonna light me up like a freaking light bulb like a flashlight in the middle of a hurricane when all the lights are out like it's just gonna light it up there could be a storm brewing out there but this light is all I need in order to see where it is that I'm going and that's all I need and there's adventure and excitement in that somehow so that's what I'm seeing with these cards and that's what it is that I'm feeling now the next message and final message that it is that I want to say to you guys is there is a connection again we haven't moved away from this but it's it's this miracle I don't think that miracle is the right word although for the last month I've kind of been saying it I just see it as divine timing and fate kind of working a 
according to what's best for all of us and it trickles into our lives at different times depending on how our charts are and depending on our actions kind of like karma cause and effect and I'm still getting that same message I'm still feeling that with this energy of spaciousness when it comes to Aquarius energy at the time of the full moon I'm seeing for my spiritual seekers out there and for those that are connecting and trying to build their relationship with the divine once again or deepen their relationship with the divine they are relinquishing their need to control and giving divine the space in order to manifest and to create that miracle or that blessing in their life this is something that i want you guys to stay in a space of total innocence total hands off when i say innocence it's because you're not manipulating anything your intention is pure always you have totally detached yourself from the outcome in order to help things to manifest i'm seeing this in relationships i don't well everything but definitely with relationships it's almost as if i don't know again with this spiritual community right now where everyone's kind of throwing around the soulmate twin flame words or whatever where they're like okay this is my soul partner this is how relationships should be so they have these expectations and with expectations comes the weight and with the weight comes struggle and trials and tribulations and it just everything gets muddled up and the universe at the time of the aquarius full moon is asking you to get your hands off of it to keep your intentions pure and that means to not force anyone or force anything to come in and to choose you and for it to not force you to choose it that is the essence and the independence and the beauty the beauty of aquarius energy is total detachment emotionally it's not that you don't care because you do care aquarius people do care they're not cold they're not distant they're they are detached there's a difference so you're learning from that and by giving that space for freedom and for people to choose their fate and for you to choose your fate destiny somehow kind of aligns itself i wish there was a better word that i could use in order to describe what it is that i'm seeing and feeling but that's the best thing it's destiny it's miracle and it's kind of like fate divine timing all those things working together to create this recipe of things happening happening as they should the way that they should and the full moon brings it all to a head but the first thing i'm seeing is that no matter how emotionally invested you are in something or someone there is this space of detachment that needs to happen very much laws of attraction now if you guys want me to dive into the details of the law and the of, of the law of attraction i'm more than happy to do that this is kind of an old law and old practice that, that's been in the works and that we've been talking about in the spiritual community quite some time but if you want me to revisit it or if you're brand new to it i'm more than happy to do that let me know down in the comments now some final cards that it is i pulled are the lightning the cat and the ring and these cards are from the gypsy witch tarot and it's interesting to me because the ring is about commitment and Aquarius is about independence. But to support that, the cat of independence and the cat of um, flattery and the cat of recognition is right here and the flames burn away. And when I see flames, I'm seeing the sun. It's like the sun and Venus moving together burns away all of the bad juju. It burns away all of the bad vibes. It burns away all of the complications, all of the hesitation, all of the doubt and gives life and energy left back so that you are independent so that you feel vital so that you feel charming and beautiful and sexy and vibrant those are the things that as i'm seeing the last thing that i want to um, share with you guys is there is this burning away so i'm definitely seeing a lot of fire magic when it comes to setting intentions when it comes to working your magic i'm seeing a lot of putting it out there through fire and then total detaching i'm seeing a lot of play there's a lot of playfulness just like I'm seeing this cat who's independent and unemotional and aloof, you know how cats are. The same cat that is unamused by anything could be entranced by a ball of string for hours or play in a plastic bag or sit in a box and you're just like, okay. So that's kind of the same thing that I'm getting with you guys is that same vibe. And for whatever reason, that's going to help to bring some good, some good energy into your life and some things that you want to, you know, commit yourself to and bond yourself to and some people that are come, going to come up and find you valuable and worth it and be like, look, you want to team up? And you're like, yeah, I do. So that's what it is that I'm seeing for the full moon in Aquarius attachment. It's healing. It's doing things above and beyond your normal self, stepping outside of your normal confines, detaching yourself from the outcome, being playful, being creative, being expressive and just 
totally deviating from your norm. So if those things ring a bell for you, those are things that you should set intention for, that's just me, that's what I'm seeing, that's what I'm getting. But of course, follow your vibes, follow whatever it is that you're called to, to call in. I'm not gonna judge you for it. I'm gonna be doing the same thing. <laughs> But um, until then, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know your experiences down in the comment. What is it that you're manifesting? How it is it that you're feeling? And make sure that you leave your sun sign and your rising sign so that I can continue to do my research over here as an astrologer. Still working my practice, still studying these charts every day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.